Alright, hey guys, how are we doing? We are back playing another video. We are back on Westland Survival. How are we going? Hope you guys are well. Welcome to the new update. We are on 0.13.0. This is the October update, the customization update. There's a few things that have been added to the game. We're going to go through some of the developer notes and we'll get underway. Show you what's changed and all that sort of good stuff. So let's get into it. So the customization feature is available, um, which is the first bullet point. Second bullet point that we've got here is the Outlaws Camp, which is near the block Snowy Passage. Will be replaced by a new location called the Outlaws Stopover. We're gonna check that out today. Um, one added feature that I'm excited for is the ability to utilize your Xbox and DualShock controllers for the support for the game. So if you guys tend to play on larger screens, so let's say for example, you got your phone hooked up mirrored to a television, um, a larger screen than, you, than your phone for example, and you uh, Bluetooth connect your wireless controller to that, you've got that functionality. Uh, this is another big one as well, cross device synchronization of the same platform support has been added into the game, which is a, another exciting feature. So what that means is that you can play from your phone to your tablet or iPad device if they're on the same operating system. And that might also cross over to the um, emulator support on um, PC if you guys are Android based. We've added a VIP status, which is uh, this little thing here. So you can become a VIP, hurry up and become a deputy sheriff and grab all the benefits. So you get a badge, times two experience, times two speed in auto mode. All traders give you 20% discount. Repair your ranch with one click. Restore all of your loot in one click. Uh, 50 silver coins daily, one daily bounty hunt contract, one free roll in the canyon trials and one free uh, re-entry wave in the canyon trial so I'm not going to go ahead and do that today because there's no point I want to show you guys about what's changed and all that sort of good stuff but if you guys have already done it let me know in the comments I want to hear from you guys and yeah we'll move on to the next part here um, now there is two types of set of clothing appearances that have been changed the leather set and the armor black set the black set won't be available to craft but those players who've had it before before the update will still have it so what does that look like let's have a look as you can see one of my sets here has already been changed over and if we run over to the uh, clothing station and if we scroll down there it is here and here's the reinforced so that's been slightly modified and changed and now we have got the cowboy set and gentleman set so i'm not too sure why that they've removed the armor set for whatever reason that might be but this is what we've got in place of it i don't think these um the durability stats have changed um i'll have to look at other videos to see if that has actually changed so that's another thing that's been changed in the update uh, now, no limits for building and upgrading the objects at the same time. So I think this has been a massive issue for a lot of players that want to upgrade one thing and there's something that's been stuck in progress. So let's say, for example, the workstation takes a couple of days. You can't upgrade anything until that's been taken care of. So what looks to be now is we should have the ability to upgrade multiple, say, workstations at the same time or upgrade uh, storage units at the same time. So that is a good thing that's been added. Um, new emotion, a dance emotion. So let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, there we go. There he goes, have a look at him. That was a bit of a spin, a little bit of a dance. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I think you just keep going until you might either want to move the player or something. Yeah, it looks like he keeps going, so you just have to move him on. And I think that is it, because there doesn't seem to be anything else, but that's a cool little thing that they've added. And what, that, what they've also done is removed a double experience offer from the store, and a new language has been added, which is Hindi. And the barbershop has been opened in the, uh, uh, sorry, has been opened, and Ed Razortoes stands ready to assist you to change your look, customize your cowboy cost some silver coins but the first one is free uh, for all the old players don't forget to talk to 
oh sorry, take Mr. Guy's quest at your ranch. Okay, so we'll check that out in a sec. And finally, the um, a little bit more of context here of the Outlaw Stopover. Uh, it is a new location that resets once in seven days after taking down a gang leader. Be careful, the stopover is well guarded. You might meet a new enemy patrol and some outlaws can even raise the alarm. As soon as you take the gang leader down, the location will be reset in seven days. Um, the difficulty yeah. level will also be increased. Rewards quality rule will remain the same. So doesn't really matter if you decide to take on um, the zone multiple times and try to um, pass it over and over every seven days because the difficulty will go up but you're not going to get better um, loot for it so for now I think that's just going to be a thing until they obviously change it over to something else in case if you have been in the Outlaws camp before the update and keep your supplies inside the chest, you have seven days to move them back to your ranch. Seven days will, sorry, seven days count will start from the first location visit. Okay, so if you decide for whatever reason you keep supplies at, uh, at the Outlaws camp before the update, which you can, you've got seven days to move them back before I guess they despawn and you have to do it all over again, I guess. Uh, now the VIP status. A deputy sheriff rank along with the rest of the benefits. Double experience, as we said before, I think this just goes back to where it was beforehand, so I'm not going to actually reread re that. It was already here. It's just reiterating all of that as I'm looking at it. And of course, iOS people, you got to wait for the update a little bit later. Um, okay, so cuts and a shave. There's a barber shop in town now. Skilled barber can totally change your appearance. Highly recommended. Talk to the barber, report back to the guide. So let's take on the quest. We're going to head over there now and we'll have a look see if I can get out. There we go. So for those that have already started playing, let me know how you guys are going with the new update. Has there been anything else that you guys want to report on? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you guys are obviously new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you're enjoying the game and you want to see more content on this game or any other games that I'm playing on my channel hit the like button guys let me know how I'm doing with the series okay so let's just jump into town as it loads in it's just taking a little bit all right so from what I remember the barbershop is on the other side so we're going to head down there didn't say of any other changes that are being made um, to the town so we're going to digress away and I believe it's just over here there we go so we can talk to our guy um, to our barber here you can change to male and female change your face a little bit so I don't know if you can see that, but it's there. So there's four different face changes that you can actually make. I'm gonna do that. And you can actually turn your play around and look at the different styles of hair that's available. Um, what have we got here? We've just gone back to hair one. It's two again. And there's that got that there I'm just gonna do that one and then you got different beard you got no beard got that number two number three so on and so forth depending on how you guys want to sort of customize it I think I'm gonna leave it with uh, beard seven and obviously you can change your skin complexion hair color as well I might actually do I might do that so I'm just going to confirm that, and that's done. How cool is that? So with that out of the way, we can go back home, and I can go back to the guide, and the guide's going to give me some, uh, give me the reward, and then we can head out a little bit later now. 
and head over to that new outpost. So let's run back home. And we'll get that loot. And yep, yeah, and we're gonna head over here in a moment. So yeah, so just for reference here guys, that's the Snowy Passage. And this will be the new Outlaw stopover. So we don't know exactly how hard is, is it going to be. So we're going to check that out in a moment. But like it said, so it did say that every time that you actually attempt this zone and you've cleared it, the next time you do it, it's going to get harder. The loot, however, is not going to change. It's going to stay the same. So it's going to be um, something that you're going to have to consider if you really want to, you know, um, put any effort into it. So goods were sent to the inbox. Um, so I think it was just the coins that were just given to us. Yeah, I think that's it. And that's what they said before. So if you had the armor jacket beforehand, it will stay in the game if you've previously had it in the past. So any other sets, just going back to this one here. Um, as you can see, I've got a few of these sets here. So I'm going to end up repairing these actually and just keep them and hang on to them until we know that we can actually get them back. So I don't even know if the durability has changed or anything like that. I don't know if they've actually moved that onto another tier. No, see, as you can see, it's pretty much the same, very similar to these ones over here. So let's just go back down. Oh no, it's a little bit different. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So you got 120, 280, 200, 120. Let's go back to here. You've got 120, 280, 200, 120. So identical. So whether you want to invest in using the armored set or not, that's up to you. But I think for now, I think we probably want to hang on to them. Just for now, until we know of what's actually going on, will uh, will we need to you know keep them as I guess prizes or you know something that we sort of have to hang on to I guess at the end of the day because if they're not going to be readily available then yeah you're just going to use them up and yeah get them destroyed so something to consider I guess at the end of the day so yeah just keep that in mind whilst you're playing the game all right so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to dump all these for now I've got two colts I think I should be all right so let's head on over Yep. Okay, so let's head on over to the new stopover. So I've never seen this before, so this is the first time I'm checking out this zone, as well as you guys, potentially, if you guys have already done this before. Any tips or tricks, let people know down in the comments um, that'd be helpful for everyone but for everyone else um, first time checking it out just have a look at it see what's what and any mistakes that I do don't do it yourself you'll know for you know the time that you decide to jump into the zone okay so what do we have here it's a, it's a very similar zone to the previous Outlaw camp. So I'm guessing it's the same. But I guess, I'm guessing it's some sort of reset counter from thereafter. So, well, I've already... Well, I've already disrupted these guys here, so... Well, you know what, I'm going to take that because I, I do need that, but take that with me because I have no, absolutely no water bottles, which is, yeah, not good, but, well, I'm, I think I might have to loot this later on because I've already looted the zone. Was this supposed to be reset? I have absolutely no idea. Well, like I said, I'm just going to make my way and just take what I've got over here. I don't know whether or not this has already 
a seven day cooldown already? I have no idea. I mean, I would have assumed that this would have been um, reset through the update, but as we can clearly see that there's nothing that's been changed. So I don't know whether or not because we've already uh, finished the zone or if you guys have already finished it beforehand, it's presented as it is now and if we leave the zone will that start the timer? I have no idea so we're going to find out in a second. Um, just making sure, I think I'm just being over thorough here at this stage but, and while I'm doing this I may as well collect some of the things I do need. Not interested in that. Okay. And yeah, uninterested in that. Let's see anything in here? Nope. So yeah, okay. Okay, so there's realistically nothing here. So, alright, let's head out. I'm guessing there's going to have to be some sort of reset um, for this. Because that's what it said. And if I read that correctly, or if I understood that correctly... Yeah, there you go. That was completely pointless, but I would have imagined that should have been reset with the update. Don't know why that hasn't happened, but as you can see, um, what we have here is that the stopover will be reset in 6 days and 23 hours and in counting so that would basically indicate that we should have the zone reset fully in that allotment of time so once that happens it'll happen and at least that way we will know what that will do, uh, you know what type of loot we'll have moving forward, will it be the same type of loot, I have no idea but um, it does say that the enemies will be stronger the next time round, so that will be interesting. Um, we might actually go through it again in another video um, and see how that all sort of pans out later on. But there you go, there you have it. So outlaws, outposts. Yeah, that wasn't much of anything, but th that doesn't matter. I just want to quickly come in here and just shoot up a few um, bandits here, and I just want to take some bits and pieces here and just loot what I can Oop. and hopefully um, yeah I'll just get a few, bit of food bit of clothing maybe I might just take that with me and is that just five up okay I do enjoy running in these little zones here and purely only because that the loot is so easy to obtain and it's really good for people that are only just getting into the game so yeah do enjoy my time in here. Um, actually, I might just take that hat. And yeah, if you really want to, you know, take, grab all the wood and things like that, you probably want to do that as well. Again, I think this is one of these zones that you just want to loot the, um, the entirety of it and just sort of leave nothing behind. Um, you know, things like corn seeds, fiber, if you want to grab those. Um, yeah, you definitely want to do that don't want to use the guns that I'm using here either because these are way overpowered you can get away with simple melee if you don't even have any um, uh, any armor yourself you won't even have any problem in running into the zone and uh, looting the lot so yeah you definitely want to do that um, at some point so yeah I'll just grab that and we'll grab some of that Grab him and open this up. And what else? Ooh, we've got some parts here. I've got a few. Uh, Alright, let's just take that along. No. Take you out. And I think there's only one little mini boss in the zone, so I don't think it's going to be much of any problem, to be honest with you. What is it? It's just a bear. Take him out, and let's just open up this. Oop, 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 oop. Let's just grab that. Uh, 
And what have we got here? And I'll take all of that. So, like I said, good little resource zone. And I think we're pretty much close to clearing this one. Take the meat. Uh, there's still a couple more spots that we can loot. Grab that. And I think this might be one of the last things here. And if you really wanted to, you can grab that axe there and just start chopping down some of the wood, um, all the trees and things like that here. Oop. And I'll leave that alone. And oh, there's a few more that we've got to open up. I'll leave the bone, I'll take the herbs. And looks like we've opened that up. And that's pretty much it. That's it. Yeah, and like I said, if you want to cut all this down, obviously you just go right ahead and do that. Anyway, that's all the time I have for today, so I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know the update itself, what you think about the update. Are you guys excited for this one? Um, happy with it? All those sort of things. Drop them in the comments. Let me know. Um, but I'm going to get out of here. Enjoy the game, and I will catch you next time.